हेलो एवरीवन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट पेशेंट कंप्लायंस एंड नॉन पेशेंट कंप्लायंस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज कंप्लायंस कंप्लायंस इज अ एडहेरेंस टू अ प्रेस्क्राइब थेरेपटिक रेजिमेन बिकॉज ऑफ अ परसीव्ड सेल्फ बेनिफिट एंड अ पॉजिटिव आउटकम इट मीन्स patient compliance uh, is uh, to obey the instruction of physician and what is non compliance non compliance is with therapy is one of the biggest threats to successful treatment and one of the most common problem encountered in clinical practice then what is adherence and versus compliance compliance is a process in which dutiful patients passively follow the advice of their physicians and adherence is uh, how most of the patients actively participate in their care and decide themselves when and whether to follow their doctor's advice then what is the patient compliance formula patient compliance formula is npd minus nme upon npd into 100 what is npd npd is the number of prescribed dose and nme is number of medication error now reason for non compliance various reason for non compliance of drugs could be as follows first one is route of administration next one is types of therapy then next one is forgetfulness and first one is route of administer uh, administration if the route of administration is painful or the patient finds any difficulty in swallowing some doses forms non compliance is generally observed and second one is type of therapy in type of therapy uh, sometimes chances of non compliance are more in long term therapy and in multi drug therapy like tb medicines and patient may forget to take the medicine regularly or in the time as prescribed then also observed non compliance then next one is forgetfulness if the frequency of administration is more and patient generally show non compliance because of the forgetfulness now next one is cost in cost many of them medicines are expensive and many expensive medicines are not in stock in various hospitals and some patient generally belonging to the lower economic starts may not buy such medicines and it shows or it observe the non compliance and it becomes an important factors for non compliance as large section of indian population are poor and now next one is poor instruction in poor instruction patient is generally anxious of his illness and he or she is therefore not in a proper frame of mind to receive the information that is being imparted by the physician and physician and pharmacist should hence use simple language for compliance of therapy now next is side effects in side effects as no drug is without side effects it means all drugs shows 
साइड इफेक्ट्स एंड पेशेंट में डिसकंटिन्यू द ट्रीटमेंट व्हेन नोजिया वॉमिटिंग जीआई अपसेट एक्सेट्रा आर ऑब्जर्वड नाउ व्हाट इज द कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ नॉन कंप्लायंस इन कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ नॉन कंप्लायंस आर अंडर यूटिलाइजेशन ओवर यूटिलाइजेशन एंड मिसलेनियस फर्स्ट वन इज अंडर यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ मेडिकेशन इन अंडर यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ ड्रग्स गिव्स लेस थेरापटिक इफेक्ट्स एंड कंडीशंस गेट मोर वर्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ मिसिंग द ड्रग और एनी डोज ऑफ द एंटी कन्वर्सेंट ड्रग मे लीड्स टू uncontrolled seizures or even death and other example is if missing even a dose of contraceptive pills it leads to unwanted pregnancy now next one is over utilization of medication in over utilization it means overdose excessive dose may causes a serious health hazards and generally they are administered more frequently to obtain quicker and greater relief and make the patient prone to adverse drug reaction now next one is miscellaneous in miscellaneous non compliance may arise through drugs obtained from friends or any relatives to self treat a similar condition and improper techniques of um, administration or consuming outdated medications may leads to very serious consequence outdated means expiry dated medications okay now pharmacist and patient counseling how to pharmacist counsel the patient some parameters are included to provide the effective pharmaceutical care a pharmacist needs to knowledge the responsibility they have in a patient's pharmacotherapeutic outcomes and patient counseling provides an opportunity to elicit the necessary information from a patient and to enable safe and effective use of medicines and first one is removal of the drug from the package some of the drug no one uh, knowledge about how to use the drugs for a patient who is not aware of packing pharmacist must practically demonstrate its removal from the package so as to avoid any confusion for example aerosol packaging second one is how to administer the patient should be advised about the route to be followed so as to prevent faulty administration of the drug and it should be mentioned clearly whether the medicine is taken by mouth or used in ear eye or rectal vagina insertion and sublingual tablets are never to be swallowed and next one is time of administration a drug the pharmacist must instruct the patient about its administration timing since the drug may cause gi upset and he or she may require to be advice to take the drug with food without food with milk with water without water or with fruit juices 
and non compliance is generally observed while administering number of medications and the patient should make a chart of medication so as to avoid forgetfulness and improve compliance now next one is allergies drugs capable of causing allergies like penicillin sulfonamides etc must be carefully detailed to the patient and it reduces the incidence of drug induced allergies and medication history also play a important role for his past drug allergy and he or she should be advised clearly and discontinue the treatment and consult the physician if he or she experiences any rashes burning sensation or itching of his skin now in side effects the pharmacist must tell the patient about common side effects of medicines like constipation may occurs with ammonium hydroxide and metronidazole may causes headache in some people and diphenhydramine may causes a sedation and ampicillin and amoxicillin also may cause a diarrhea and it is the duty of pharmacist to make the patient aware of the facts and he should be cautioned in such a way so as and not to be scared of medicines now next one is drug interaction how to aware a pharmacist about the drug interaction to patient the pharmacist should warn patient about possible interaction of the prescribed drugs like with food beverages and other drugs now refill information in refill information pharmacist must inform the patient whether or not the prescription is to be refilled or not and it all depends on the short or long term therapy and it should be communicated properly so as to avoid the patient non compliance for treatment then next one is additional information in additional information is given for fulfillment of the prescriber's instruction by the patient for patient compliance and short and simple sentence like should be used to make the communication successful for example don't take tetracycline with milk or antacids and shake the emulsion or suspension well before used thank you for watching this video i hope you understand but still you have any problem you can comment so we will continue rest of our topic in next video thank you